Monday and welcome to another episode of The Brew Quest. Today's beer style is the American Imperial Porter and today's beer is Shadow of a Doubt by Russian River Brewing Company. Now the last beer I did from Russian River was the Sanctification from the last episode of The Brew Quest. I think it was American Brett and I didn't like it. It placed really low on my styles list. But that doesn't mean that Russian River doesn't make good beers. It doesn't mean that that beer wasn't good. It just means I don't like it. So today we're gonna try a new style, a style that I've never tried before in the American Imperial Porter. I have tried a few porters, but they were all robust porters. The last one I did, or I did a few, I think it was the Chicago beer, I'm blanking out, I forgot what it was. Anyway, and then the one I did for the style was, I think it was Black Butte for the robust porter. See, obviously I don't know, it's been so long since I've actually done them. But I remember I liked them at the time. I think they placed really okay, kind of placed well or probably in the middle somewhere. If I remember correctly, it's like the in-between between a stout and a brown ale is where I put like robust porters. So this beer, or at least the style is what I'm thinking, is because it's imperial, that means ABV is gonna be way up and we'll go through the bottle stats on this. I believe the ABV on this is 9.6, so this is gonna be fairly big. And this is a big bottle, this is a pint. So 16 ounces in here. Oh, actually no, more than a pint. 510 mls, so milliliters. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know too much about this style. Uh, what I found online from like craftbeer.com, uh, BJCP doesn't really list anything for Imperial Porters, uh, but the craftbeer.com website just says it's it shouldn't have uh, roasted barley flavors or a strong black or burnt small character. Medium caramel and cocoa-like sweetness is present with complementing hop character and malt-derived sweetness. Uh, ABVs range from like 7 to 12%. IBU certified 50. That's eh, kind of fine. It's not going to be too bad. Porters are not at the top of my list. I think even Imperial Stouts are not on top of my list. But the Milk Stout is still at the top of my list of beers to drink. So I, I don't know. I tend to lean towards there. If I ever go into a new brewery, I kind of want to drink... Um, I'll try their dark stuff. This, hopefully this is good. Um, I don't know too much about it and I can't actually would dive in. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's dive into this beer and let me pour it out. I'll be right back. It actually went pretty well, uh, had a good hiss out of the bottom, good amount of carbonation, great amount of head. Uh, as you can see, the head has now subsided, but there is this really nice beige, light brown color. As I'm looking through the beer, it is really dark, almost like a stout, but like I said, porters, and the previous video porters and stouts are very similar, if not almost the same. Uh, there is something in the beer. I don't know if this beer is bottle conditioned, but I do see some dregs, some particles in it. I don't know what it is, so it's probably yeast. That's what I'm guessing. I forgot to mention some of the stats about the beer, but it's pretty easy. This was bottled on uh, October 21st, 2019, so not too old, maybe seven months. And uh, Russian River does say you can drink this uh, now or uh, put it in a cool dark place and enjoy it at a later date. So I'm pretty sure you can age this beer and it's probably because of the high ABV of this beer. Uh, so it looks pretty good. I did get some some notes of what it smelled like uh, during the pour, but I want to see what it is actually like. So um, let's put a nose on it. I am getting a little bit of the roasted malt character coming through. It does smell like a stout, so that's not surprising. A, a little bit of the alcohol is coming through. 
Um, nothing much kind of like in that roasted coffee, chocolate area, but not sweet though. But yeah, that's, so far that's the only thing I'm really getting. I'm not getting anything more complex than that. At least what I can pick up. Looks good. Smells good. Let's drink it. Cheers. Okay, so on the side of this, um, well, this bottle, there is like a little description and it says, uh, at least part of the bottle says, um, it's an Imperial Pour with rich nuts of chocolate, tobacco, raisins, and spice. So I kind of get almost all of those flavor notes. Um, a little bit of the spice, it's not strong at all, but it does come like in the, towards the middle, towards the finish as well. Um, up, up front, I do get the chocolate, a little bit like something like coffee and the raisins is like in the also in the middle something like that's the sweetness that i'm getting i would sort of think it'd be raisins i'm not too sure let me um get another one now yeah, there's a very subtle sweetness it's not it's not anything crazy it's not too strong it's very faint it's like in the background almost almost not even there i am getting something like something like tobacco I've, I don't smoke, I'm not a smoker personally, but my parents did smoke growing up. I know it's, I know what tobacco tastes, smells like, I know what cigarettes smells like, and I know what that smoke is like, um, but it's not, it's not, it's something like that. It's very similar, but it's not 100%. I have, wait, actually, I take it back, I have smoked a cigar. That's it. I think twice. And that's about it. That's, and that is the most uh, familiar I am with tobacco. Like, yeah, I, I'm kind of getting that sort of like the more cigar aspect of it. Like maybe I'm getting sort of like that taste of like a cigar pull, like that ashy smokiness of it. And then towards the end, you get like this bitter drying sensation, not super strong like that Brett that I just had and that Golden Strong Ale from uh, North Coast. Like it's not that strong. It is there and it's, it's, it's light. Uh, and finally, alcohol, I can barely detect it. I, I can barely even taste if there's alcohol in there. I don't know, it's just, there's so many things assaulting, not assaulting, but there's so many things I'm trying to pick up in this beer, I can't find the alcohol in it. And that's kind of scary. But where would I actually put this on my list? It is not high. I don't like as a porter though. I think I might actually put this at the top of the porters that I've drank, or at least the style. I've only had two styles so far, two robust porters. But so far, this is at the top, um, so it's definitely beating out the robust. And it's uh, plus that it's a nine percent beer, so one one pint kind of gets you tipsy if you're a lightweight like me. Uh, so my Robust Porter came in at 15. Mm, I kind of like this more than a Fruit and Field, to be honest, at the moment. Maybe I'll put this at 14, so Imperial Porter. So the reason I'm not pulling this higher than the Berliner, which is at 13, and the Blonde Honey, I kind of would, like, I think I would sort of get into this beer, like, or at least this style, more than those other ones, mainly because, but the only thing that's really holding it back is that drying quality on the finish, that bitterness and the mouth drying aspect of this part of the beer, like I don't like. And if you notice anything, the bottom two beers are beers that do exactly that to my mouth, and my palate, and my tongue. Like that whole dryness is just it's super off putting. But the beer is so good. Everything else is really good that I'm like, it. it's bringing it up by a lot. Now granted, it's not like the top 10, it's not gonna crack the top 10 because of that quality, but it is in the top 20. And like, even though I had like an ESB not too long ago, um, and the, it's definitely something I would drink over a Robust Porter. I don't know why, I think, I don't know. I just like this more than the Robust Porter. Yeah, but this was a good beer. I am surprised that I'm actually liking this more than a lot of the beers I've had, even though it has that mouth drying quality. But I don't know, that's what the series is about. Discovering new things and figuring out things that you don't like. So that's gonna be it for me. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. So far, Imperial Porters 
are my favorite porters. Oh, 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 o